Welcome to Machia. The Intiwariasi community manages three wildlife rescue centers, and this was the first refuge created for animals in Bolivia in 1996. We protect animals local to the area uh, from the illegal wildlife trade. The park is located just outside Villa Tunari in the Chapare Bolivia province. Here in Park Matia, we take care of a number of animals, including primates, felines, coatis, birds, reptiles, even a bear. Even though we work with a lot of species, we specialize in primates, mainly capuchin, squirrel, and spider monkeys. All these animals come from different backgrounds, but with one thing in common, they all lost their freedom because of humans. The work we do here, it's our way of giving them a second chance in life. Quarantine is mainly a monkey management area. They're monkeys that cannot be released back into the natural environment because of their personality and the history that they've suffered. So we try and give them a life that's as natural as possible within the groups that we have. The reality is that most of the rescue animals cannot be handled in a semi-free way. These are the ones that require more work and where we need more help from the volunteers. Sadly, there are some of them that can only be handled inside a cage. In the center, we have two areas specializing in monkeys who live in a semi-liberal state. This means they are, they are placed in their natural habitat without the need of physical barriers. But they still depend on our care. When an animal arrives, we evaluate and monitor them. This isn't the work of one person, but of a team that verifies its physical and emotional state. From this, we are able to dictate the type of management and how much freedom we can provide it. In Machia, we also have a schedule that we follow to check on the animals on the different areas, and eventually we treat the animals that have We also host a big variety of animals from surrounding areas. Here I am. Today is my last day after two months of being here and it's amazingly remorseful because I just, I'd love to be able to stay longer. I was assigned work with, to work with two ocelots and I just fell in love with the place, with the animals, with the people, with the jungle um, that I had never experienced before and ever since then I've kept coming back every year for longer and longer. Um, until now, last year I quit my job in Australia and now I live here. I've been really happy here, just happy. Um, for me it was very hard to not be happy here. Uh, everyone's so welcoming, everyone's so kind, and they make you feel like you're part of the family very early on. Now I've, I've quit because I've realised that I can get <laughs> professional experiences here um, that I could never get anywhere else. I get to work with um, vets and biologists and conservationists and it's opened up another world for me of animal work that I never thought was possible with the existing skills that I had. I've been traveling for 12 months and I can tell you that traveling is amazing. It's a lot of the same however. It's after a while you start yearning for something that has more of a lasting impact. There's a purpose behind it and this is a place with purpose. And I think anyone who wants their trip through South America to mean something more and to have more of a lasting impact on their life, this is a place to come. I think the first eight months are overshadowed by these two months very, very easily.